going on, Wolfpack? Welcome to episode number three of A Pirate Survival at Sea. We're playing Atlas today. Uh, as you can see, I did go out and uh, wander the island. I was able to kill a giraffe and uh, get a uh, little bit of resources to build some of our uh, forward operating base right here. If you are just joining us for episode number three, don't forget to follow the description, find the playlist for this, and this will bring you back to episode one. There is a two-hour live stream to kick off the series premiere, and then all of the other videos up to now are shorter 15 to 20 minute videos, and I'm trying to keep them right around there uh, just for uh, ease of watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to smash that notifications bell so you can be kept up to date on any new content as it comes out. So I was able to get out and I was able to gather some resources for crafting the wooden floors. Uh, as you can see in my hotbar down here, I'm going to throw a couple more down so we can craft a smithy. And uh, we're going to just make this a, uh, like I said, a very small forward operating base because we're not able to claim this area and keep this base from degrading. Uh, we'd already crafted this uh, smithy off camera. So you place it with the right button and then after you place it you're uh, able to pivot it on that axis point right there and then you click the right button again and it's there. So now when I if I, and when I decide to wall off this area and I probably won't now that we know this base will eventually decay um, we'll probably just leave it there and then uh, we'll go and when we do find an island to settle on and build a claim flag we'll build all this stuff permanently but right now this is just a uh, in an attempt to build eventually a shipyard out there where we can build a ship, sail off to an island, and go find our, uh, our home. So let's see what we have here. I haven't even looked in this thing yet. We'll access our inventory. I don't even know what we can craft. All right, let's see. So we do have fibers. We do have some stone in there. We need more. We do have some thatch. We need more of that. And we need a lot of wood. Uh, no wonder everybody wanted me to get the smithy as soon as possible. Metal hatchet and a metal pick. I think we're going to start this off right now. Replace our pick so we'll be able to get some more items. We're going to go off. We're going to grind off camera here so you guys don't uh, have to sit here and watch me do it. When I find something notable, I will we'll do a cutscene, and uh, that's how I plan on doing the episode so you don't have to sit here and watch me walk around. I'll be recording everything, and anything funny happens, anything interesting happens, I will definitely uh, bring everybody up to speed on that. I'm go ahead and place a storage box down here. So we have some places to put our stuff. Oh boy. Well, that didn't work out. Definitely did not see the tiger. That yeah, wild tiger camping on my body right now definitely saw me just trying to tame a damn monkey for crying out loud bastard sitting right on my body Say Roscoe Raven. So Antihero was telling me to craft a sickle to make the gathering of the materials much more lucrative and holy cow is it you are able to get a ton of straw instead of just getting three or four. Move much quicker and gain a lot more of it. Good tip there Antihero, thank you very much. Guess I killed him. Sorry, chicken. I'm really hoping to tame you. Leveling up the uh, tools to iron tools uh, was definitely a huge help. That should get us our shipyard. Hopefully we can build this out there and then start on a ship or a, a raft to get us to an area where we can build our base and not have to worry about it. There we 
go. Put our shipyard over here. And let's go see if we can find a spot where the water drops off and we can start to build our boat. Uh, I did learn from a few streamers that place this on a mined rock area that uh, you could have an issue. So we're going to put it right there. Not sure where the uh, trigger is for the... There we are, the shipyard craftable sloop. Fibers, metal, thatch, and wood. All right. It's all doable. I think we have all that actually. And the wood. All right. There's our boat. Back here to the shipyard. We'll take a look and see what we can do in the respect of building this thing up. Look at this guy. Do the parts need to be built at the smithy? Maybe that's what needs to happen. There they are. Shift uh, craftable. Wood deck. We got wood fibers and thatch. I think we have enough still on land here. Craftable steering wheel. We definitely need one of those for the boat. We'll take that. Take one of those, this deck, bring it out there. I'm guessing we're going to need several of these, but I'm going to run out there and throw this stuff on the boat there also. Let's go the deck. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to put the craftable steering wheel on here right away. So we'll do the deck. I'm sure we'll be able to do that and the craftable steering wheel there. Yep, there's the deck. Boom. Deck's done. This will give us five more side planks, and we will take these out to the ship and install them. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. We're going to need five more. All right, we need one more.
So just to bring you guys up to speed, I forgot to hit the record button like a noob YouTuber. Um, I was able to craft a loom, which I thought I was getting a uh, video of, but it did not work. Uh, so the loom is here so we can make our sails, and I threw down a couple more floor foundations so it would be sitting on a floor. Um, I don't want to go too crazy on this base because we are in an unclaimable area, uh, and I'd really like to uh, build that ship and then sail off and uh, go actually to a place where we can actually build a, a, a permanent home, so or a semi-permanent home anyway. What we were out getting materials for was this uh, speed sail, and I'm thinking I'm going to get two of these, or I might do one of these and one of these uh, uh, handling sails. We are going to throw the fibers in here. We also have the metal, which uh, tin I just found a whole bunch of. There's a rabbit that sounds like a damn tiger running up on me, but it's not, so that's good. What the... All right, so all we need now is wood. Um, we have plenty of fibers for all of the sails that we would need. It's like about 200 for each version of the sail. So if we go out and get 400 wood, we should be fine, which shouldn't be a problem because we have a good uh, amount of trees right here. So Roscoe's sleeping right there, apparently. Typical cop. Hey, guys, if you're liking the content, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We would love you to have you in the wolf pack. Don't forget to tap that notifications bell. So you are aware when other content is posted. Definitely makes a difference leveling up those gathering uh, skills, and I'll uh, we'll go through the skill points again in a little bit. But the amount of materials for uh, the time invested is uh, certainly increases yeah, your amount of materials. All right, that should do it. Back to the loom and craft up the sails. Wood. Wood. Roots. It's all thatch. I don't think uh, it's going to matter, but... All right, so we will uh, start with a handling sail. I'm sorry, the speed sail. I think we're going to go place that to see how it looks. Put our sail in our pocket and uh, head out to the boat. I uh, put this out here because I did watch uh, a couple of different YouTubers and their uh, first mistakes. Uh, they built their shipyard too close to the shore in too shallow of water. And when they launched their ship, it basically bounced off the bottom and exploded. So all this work was uh, for nothing. I did watch a couple of guys. Uh, Flinger Foo is one of them. He's got a series that's pretty good. So let's see how this works out for placing the sails. I have never done this before, so we shall see how it goes. Let's go and hit K and back off a little bit so we don't uh, screw this up. That is a pretty damn big mast for uh, this ship, I think. I think we're going to have to go and get a small. Oh, that's pretty funny. All right, so that one's out. Now you might need several sail masts to get the boat underway to make it effect. Right now we have zero, and we need two. This one's 1 1.7, but I think it's far too large for uh, the boat we're using. So. so we'll take a look at the sailing units and see if there's anything uh, that we can find a little bit better. I'm, I'm guessing we're just going to need the small ones. So we're just going to need a... Doesn't tell you the values are for each, I guess. Let's uh, let's do one of these, and uh, I'm thinking we're probably gonna put one forward and aft uh, one of these. And then I'm trying to figure out if we need ceilings, or something else to fill in those gaps on the ship itself. So, all right, let's try this again. Hey, look at that. All right, so that's one. Uh, like I said, I wanna back it off a little bit. And if I was to put one forward. And one aft, that would give us two. I think that would be enough. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think that this is going to be enough. I'm thinking about putting one forward up here. And then maybe one back there. That's what I'm thinking. Back in here, that's going to be one unit. Heat wave has begun. Cool down. That's going to give us half of our sailing. And then uh, we're going to go and do another one. I want to make sure that I uh, do this right the first time. So, all right. I think we're going to go right there. And the next one is going to go right there. All right. There's number one. I guess this is going to be... All right. There's our slope. All right. Let's see if we can now make these ceilings, or, um, which I guess will end up being the floor. We'll make one and see how it goes. Hopefully it fits right on the floor here, from what I was gathering by watching the other ones. Ah, look at that. Alright, good deal. 
Yeah. So common wood ceiling is the floor is the uh, ship deck. Might have to go back and we might need more than four, but we we shall see. I think we're gonna leave that one open. That way we can get down and up, up above the deck. There we are. All right. All right, we're putting our uh, storage boxes in the aft, so hopefully it works. Uh, oh. Obstructed, they can't. Looks like it can't go down here, so it might have to go on the deck, which is unfortunate because there. All right, it's in there, it's in the water. Then name your sloop. This is going to be the Happy Goer. Happy Goer One. Uh, oh, ho, ho, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty sharp. Now we can get up there. Pretty easy in case we get lost or knocked down. All right, Wolfpack, that pretty much wraps up episode number three. Finally, we were able to, uh, that took about three and a half hours of gameplay to get all the materials for this small schooner, the sails, the decks, and all that stuff. Uh, I do appreciate everybody stopping in and hanging out with us, watching the entire episode. Thank you very much. I am trying to keep these things to 15 or 20 minutes or so. This one may have run a little bit longer because of all the gameplay was required. I appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new and uh, hit that notifications bell so you're aware of any other content. And we will be back with episode four in the very near future. Thank you again for joining us.